What's up, y'all? Snow Joe Coward coming at y'all live from Boing Gansang here in Bon Lung, Cambodia, Radnakari Province. I'm staring at a cow right now. Actually, uh, it appears to be a, a young bull. It's got some horns there, if you can see. Um, so you can see the horns there. Yeah, anyways, just hanging out. It's kind of cool that they just have this lake, you know, and there's just like animals hanging out here eating, munching food. It's pretty sweet. And uh, if you guys want to know how to say cow in Khmer, it's, I believe it's it's ko, ko. It's like if you want to get beef, it's sakko, sakko. But cow is ko. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Anyways, I got a couple questions uh, about like bugs and shit here in Cambodia. It's actually a pretty good question because you would think that Cambodia, I mean, you know, be, being near the equator, being very tropical, and it is having a shitload of bugs here and there's definitely bugs here man there's snakes spiders scorpions all kinds of little creepy critters all kinds of little creepy crawlers now as far as my exposure to them obviously predominantly or i've i've i've, I've spent a considerable amount of time in phnom penh i mean i've been living there for uh just over a year now so i've spent a lot of time in the city so my exposure to like the wilderness has been pretty minimal but uh that's not to say that there aren't bugs in the city. Um, definitely lots of cockroaches. You're definitely going to get cockroaches in your apartment from time to time. Um, I mean, like ways to avoid that, I guess, would be like not leaving a lot of food out. But they're but they're still going to find a way in, man, because it's warm. Well, not I mean, it's warm outside. It's uh, it's uh, like there's there's fucking food in there. So like they're going to try to find it. There's there, there's going to be lots of ants. Uh, it's it's very normal to just go to somebody's house or to a a business or whatever and there's just a lot big line of ants hello we'll say hi uh, uh, hello <laughs> uh yeah people hanging out eating their dinner it's kind of it's kind of a cool setup here i guess people people order from these uh little stalls here they'll order food from these stalls here and then they'll just kind of like sit out here and munch out it's actually really nice to me dude look look at the fucking sunset hold on look at that look at that sun i mean dude the, ca the camera does not do it justice man it's so incredibly, it's such a deep, like, intensely bright orange. It's like, it's like God's pupil, man. It's like God's pupil, dude. <laughs> what the hell was I even talking about? Yeah, 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 bugs and all that. Yeah, so you're gonna, it's, it's, it's totally, it's totally normal to see, to see like a trail of ants in someone's home and like, nobody mentions it. Like, back in the States, man, if we, if we had like three ants, my fucking mom or dad would, would, would go to like Home Depot or the nearest uh, like hardware store and get like a fucking five gallon drum of Raid with like a flamethrower kit on it and would just just fucking zap them all. It's crazy, man. It's it, it's totally crazy. And that's actually a, another point is like the way people deal with bugs in America versus pretty much most other places. I mean, bugs like over here in Cambodia, like like the like the way it's seen. I mean, like as long as they aren't messing with you. As long as they're not like eating your food, which which they do from time to time. I mean, like especially the ants. Um, which sometimes, like if I see a piece of bread or if I see some food has just a few ants on it, and like the food itself is still good, I eat the fucking ants with the food. Like I don't care, man. It's just extra protein. It's uh, it's also not uncommon to eat bugs out here. They sell bugs on the streets, like crickets, sometimes spiders, all kinds of grubs and shit. They're actually good, man. They're good. I've eaten uh, plenty of them, and they're they're good. Um, but yeah, like people in the states may freak out over bugs, and it's a great uh, it's a, it, it's a great racket for like the the insecticide uh, industry, right? Like with raid and all like little cockroach traps and all that type of stuff. Well, here in Cambodia, they don't really have that type of stuff, as far as I can see. I haven't even seen mouse traps here. Like we have a giant rat that likes to hang out in our apartment. It's this big ass black rat. Its tail alone it has to be a foot long. Or for everybody else out there, maybe like, I don't know, like 22 centimeters or whatever. 25 centimeters. Right, my fucking arm's getting tired. Yeah, so I mean, like varmints and creepy crawlers out here, it's really not a big deal, man. It's not uncommon to go to a restaurant and you see a rat running around. It's not uncommon to see some ants or, or flies. It's, it's completely okay. And I eat my food. Like sometimes if I order food, there were some flies on it. Guys, like... Over in the West, man, they they try to scare you so much with all, you know, they, they try to tell you that everything's going to kill you, everything has a disease. Well, some things do, some things do, 
but why wouldn't they tell you that when they can make a shit ton of money what's up guys want to say hi say hello so goodbye yeah yeah so anyways yeah i mean it's it's definitely a bit I mean, it's definitely like a good business model to basically say that oh well if there's bugs anywhere near you that you should kill them use our products if it touches your food you have to throw it away and buy more food it's just it's just a big cycle to get people to spend more money and maybe i sound like a little bit like a hippie or whatever conspiracy theorist but i think anybody with a sense of logic knows i have a fucking point but but in terms of, of bugs being here and, and like a threat to my well-being i like i like i said i come across some cockroaches the only thing that i will not allow to be in my presence is a large spider if it's a, like a granddaddy long leg or like a small little one like this like the size of a penny or whatever uh it's it's fine as long as it doesn't get on me but we've had a couple of huntsman spiders in our house and they're about they're like like from leg to leg they're about the size of the palm of my hand maybe a little bit bigger and they're like brown they've got fangs and they're very very fierce looking and i will not like allow that thing to live in my house like there's no fucking way that i can sleep in knowing that it's lurking it's trying to kill me so uh snakes i haven't really seen any snakes they're definitely here they're definitely here in, in Cambodia. Uh, want to say hi? Hello. Oh, they were, uh, they were, they were shy. <laughs> little girl was shy. Little girl was waving at me. The second I turned the camera, she's like, ah. Yeah, whatever, fuck it. Anyways, y'all, yeah, so bu bugs aren't really an issue here. They're, they're, oh, yeah, there's mosquitoes, yes. As far as malaria goes, I don't believe malaria is that big of a deal here in Cambodia. I mean, like, it's here, but it's not as prevalent as it is and say Africa or maybe even South America, other parts of Asia. But um, there, there are mosquitoes here. Um, sometimes they bother you, but they're, they're most likely not gonna give you any diseases unless you're in an area that's known, like, like known for malaria. And Phnom Penh is not one of them. So I have been attacked by some street dogs here, but aside from the animals and the creepy critters and the crawlers or whatever the fuck you wanna call them, all the slithering, slimy creatures of the underworld. The thing that I'm most threatened by here in Cambodia are people. And that's the most dangerous creature on the planet, man, is man, right? The most dangerous creature on the planet is is human being. And they could fuck my life up way more than any animal could. I mean, like, an animal can kill me. An animal can kill me or eat me or whatever, poison me and kill me. And then I'm dead, right? But a person could throw me in jail put me in captivity they could they could scar me emotionally you know like they could break your heart they can make you mentally agonized for the rest of your life so i mean to me that's a far like they could kill people that you love and then laugh at you about it like when an animal kills something or kills someone it's typically out of instinct like like because it's hungry or because it's angry you know and, and like you're threatening it so it's going to kill you in self-defense but people, people are like the only creatures on the planet that, that I know of that kill out of malice, that kill out of joy, that kill out of the thrill of it. They just kill just, just, just for the thrill of it. Maybe, maybe some animals do that too, but I don't know of any that do it as much as man. So man is the most dangerous predator, whatever. Even the most dangerous prey on the planet, the most dangerous creature is man. I'm sorry, humankind, sorry. Sorry, ladies. I didn't mean to say. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say, man. Sorry. We are we are all one. We're all equal. Oh wait, you can't hit me because I'm a girl. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. You want to be equal so long as it works to your fucking benefit. Yeah, I said it. That's for another video. Anyways, guys, I'm Mojo Coward. I digress. Hello, want to say hi? Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, they always say hello to me. Um, no normally they're really nice. Anyways, I need to shut the fuck up. I've been ranting enough. I have serious cotton mouth right now. I need to get back to my guest house and refresh my refresh my mouth with some ice cold water. All right, y'all. No joke striking at gmail.com, bitches. That's no joke striking at gmail.com, bitches. It was a pleasure to speak to you. Go fuck yourself. Peace.